Hey, what is up my geeks and freaks? Big Girl Geek here with brand new Geek Chat. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for Three, the Geek two, Chat. One. All right, it has been an interesting week to say the least dealing with comic book and pop culture news. So I can't wait to dive into some of these stories and talk about these, these situations going on in news right now and in our little comic book world. Um, also, I'm trying a new thing. If there's something that I miss in a Geek Chat and you want me to cover in the next Geek Chat, please let me know in the comments. And if this is your first time, welcome. If you've been here before but haven't subscribed, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and also tap that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so the first thing I want to dive into really, really fast is some Marvel news for you guys. It appears that James, uh, Jeremy Renner, I'm just calling him James Renner, that's someone else. Jeremy Renner, who plays Hawkeye in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, in the Avengers movies, uh, in the Captain America movie, you know who I'm talking about. Um, he is getting his own TV show on the Marvel, uh, on the Disney Plus at a streaming service that's uh, they're releasing there's a couple of marvel shows that they release uh they're going to be releasing something also maybe with scarlet witch and vision but it has been confirmed jeremy renner is getting his own his own show which i'm assuming he's gonna be playing hawkeye of course um so what did you guys think about that news the disney plus streaming service is just another streaming service you can add to my list of netflix and hulu and the dcu uh the dc universe app just take all my money just take all my money. <laughs> I really wish it was just like one mega streaming service that we can get all this on. But, you know, I'm excited. Kind of sore because I want to see where they're going. I'm hoping it's not boring. I mean, a Hawkeye ser uh, television series, I don't know, for me, for some reason, is it's like, is it going to be like Arrow? We saw a bow and arrow guy doing his own TV show. But I'm, I know it's definitely it's different. That's DC. This is Marvel. But I don't know. I'm interested to see. Are, are they going to guest star? Are we going to see Thor on the show? Are we going to see Cap on the show? Captain America or, or Captain Marvel? Now, those were the questions people had when Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was released. I know I think Nick uh, Samuel Jackson did an episode, maybe the pilot as Nick Fury. I don't watch uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It didn't hold my interest. But I'm like, everyone was talking about that. So I'm very like, oh, what's going to happen? Oh, that reminds me now that, you know, Disney owns owns Fox and X-Men are coming home um, which I don't know if I even covered but you guys should know you, you guys know X-Men is my favorite I wonder if like the X-Men animated series all of that will they bring that to the Disney plus streaming app because you know and we could watch those episodes I think they're on Hulu and Hulu I believe was owned by Fox so now Disney owns Hulu I don't know <laughs> so that'd be so cool that would be cool if we get some new x-men content like all the x-men shows not just the original anime series from the 90s but like the anime series and uh the wolverine and the x-men um the x-men when they were like teenagers i can't remember the name that'd be pretty cool but what do you guys think about that and jeremy renner's uh, sh uh new show i'm very excited for it Next thing I want to talk about, brand new news that came out today, like an hour or so before rec the recording of this video, Game of Thrones star Ian Glenn, you guys know who he is, he has been cast as Batman in the uh, Titan series on the DCU app, and he will be uh, guest starring, or I guess the series regular, for season two. I don't know how I feel about this news. I have, I love this guy, he's an amazing actor, you know, of course he's on Game of Thrones, he was on Downton Abbey, a show that I love. I have never one ever seen him, pictured him as Bruce Wayne, pictured him as Batman, pictured him as the Dark Knight, pictured him as the Cape Crusader. I, when doing a list, a cast, uh, my own castings or a list of, of people, uh, actors that would want to see portray Batman, this man has never even crossed my mind. I don't know. He's, I feel like he's going to have to bulk up a little bit. I mean, he's a little, you know, for Game of Thrones, but he's not, you know, like, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, Diesel. So I am very interested in seeing how his portrayal is going to be. But I don't know. This may be a miscasting, but I'm assuming they know what they're doing because Titans has been a phenomenal show. I think it's one. Of, if I think it's the best DC show, even including the CW stuff. So what do you guys think about that news? Let me know in the comments. Uh, speaking of keeping it DC and speaking of CW, uh, Emily Bett Richards, who plays Felicity, I said in my last geek chat, she's not coming, she's not going to be appearing in the last and final season. 
10 episode arc of Arrow. So she just recently this week had her last day on set. She did a bunch of posts on her Instagram. Very sad, everyone crying, very upset. Uh, Stephen Amell's daughter sang to her. Stephen Amell plays Arrow. Um, Oliver Queen sang to her. Um, so I, like I said many times, I don't watch Arrow, but I know these characters, of course, due to that universe and the crossovers. Very sad, very sad, but you know, we wish her the best. What do you guys think of the, that Felicity news? And did you see the pictures and stuff from her last day? Did you get emotional? Let me know. <laughs> Um, I'll keep it up on uh, DC TV and CW. Um, I will not be watching The Flash Live. Speaking of that, you know, I have my Flash pre-show. I can't do that anymore because YouTube has changed its rules. And in order for me to go live, I have to have a thousand subscribers or more. So I'm not quite there yet. So I can't go live on, uh, I think it's just mobile. I don't know if I could do it on a PC, but my PC is so slow. I wouldn't even trust it. So I was, I was doing everything on mobile. Um, so I can't do that anymore. So I can't do the Flash uh, TV show. So sorry, uh, pre-show that I was doing. Sorry about that. But you... Of course, didn't. still can catch me live on Twitter, uh, talking and recapping about the episodes when they are new. The Flash does come back this Tuesday, but I won't be watching live. It's a Godspeed episode, supposedly a Godspeed episode. I just can't right now. Me and The Flash are in. A, we're taking a break. We're having a breakup <laughs> right now until they get back on track. You can check out some of my uh, Flash recaps, uh, recap and reviews to know what my problem is. I won't go too deep into that but the flash is having some problems man with the writing and i don't know if the next season is going to be their last what do you guys think about the flash let me know in the comments um okay so the last story that i have for you guys i want to talk about real fast is the pictures that they released the first images for the charlie's angels reboot now charlie's angels have of course show in the 70s they did some movies like in the early 2000s it had to be the early 2000s with Drew Barrymore and Cameron Diaz and Lucy Liu. That had, I think, it was a three movies, maybe two. And then they had a TV show re uh, reboot that didn't make it to a full season, which I loved that show. It came on ABC. It was on the wrong channel. I felt like it should have been on the CW with my girl Annie uh, Alonze. That was great. Um, so now I think these they have rebooted the movie with Elizabeth uh, Banks as I can think the producer. She's also playing a female version of Bosley. So this will be a very female hurrah uh, f uh i believe feminist uh film and they released some of the uh stills some of the, of the first look from i think entertainment weekly who gets everything so you guys could take a look at that as it goes across your screen um what do you guys think are you here for a charlie's angel reboot i don't know if i need a christmas story in it <laughs> i can't wait uh to see what you guys have to say about that all right, so that's all I have for you in this uh, episode of Geek Chat. Um, I wanted to try and keep Avengers out of it. It's so much Avengers news going on. But I mean, I guys, you guys probably aren't Avengers in Game Overload. Let's just wait until that movie comes out in a couple weeks. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. So I'm trying to keep the Avengers in news out. I mean, it's dominating every little thing. Every little thing they do, everything they will say, because they're on a press junket right now, is like dominating the news. But I'm like... Let's just keep, let's just try let's find some other news to squeeze in there, but that's all I have for this uh, episode of Geek Chat. Until next time, I'm out of here. Big girl geek out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.